Well, hello there, cruise mates. Guess what? I was I was feeling a lot more Lost Prince of Legend off stream this time around. So, because of that, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna play a lot more Lost Prince of Legend off stream. I felt like giving Blue Sakia another run for my money, just off stream. It's literally like one at night. I just felt like playing her just because. Oh, my last game didn't go too well, but I feel like I could do a lot better if I don't have the pressure of streaming and I'm just recording to myself here. And I thought, hey, I might as well record the run in case I do get anything way too good for me. Add a random rare to the library. Very random and common, choose one to add to the library. Well, it's win condition. Pawn sway manipulation. So I'm looking to stry, stry, stry as much as I can, probably. Chances are I want to just upgrade that ASAP, so it's probably a gap me to start. Two gaps in a row, in case I don't want to fight an elite and I don't think I'm powerful enough, and then I have Takanes. Yeah, that's probably it. So, the thing is, like, Blue Saki is always so darn weak at the beginning just because side of uh, Distant Blade does not have the same pop-off potential early on as do other cards, as do other starting cards, so like um, a Red Marissa's Beam for instance, and just like Red Satya, not Red Satya, Red Satya um, uh, Red Reimu etc, stuff like that, so you gotta start a lot slower, which means the extra power could be real darn nice, but I always start going HP and just really starting that scaling slowly, I slowly you really just, yeah, you get the, you get the little extra card draw, but of course it ain't much else, so... I mean, what more am I going to say other than just, oh ho, I did my best, smile? I, 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 I did my best, smile, but unfortunately this extra turn didn't draw me the win condition again. I'm just take the health and that gets me a little bit more leeway in case I need to rest, right? Oh, on sway time then, I suppose. Having that to be innate to be real nice, because it's just auto-block early on especially, and then yeah, that just would help out. I'll uh, keep these two actually, because I don't mind getting my Graze. Well, actually, I was about to say, if I could kill a crow, how I technically could, I might as well just equally damage them. Because this one's about to Graze, and I can just get this one next turn. Not bad at all. But yeah, like, I feel like whenever I'm on stream, I'm just kind of like, the Lost Prince of Legend runs can go on for an hour and a little bit more. And because of that, I've always just, I, I, I'm always thinking to myself, eh, I could instead possibly, uh, what's his face? I could instead try to end off earlier, because I'm always streaming at a wait, uh, wait time at night to where. It, like, if I turn stream off after streaming for more than two hours, it's already going to be, like, about midnight. And so I feel like I'm unconsciously rushing myself and also keeping my streams more concise for people. So maybe just, yeah, more offline content like this or so. Now I'm looking to get defensive cards, possibly? Or more strying. I don't necessarily need Dangerous Illusionist then, even though it is a wonderful ability for nice. Mito could be good just as a better attack card for discard draw. I'm just looking to stry and draw probably. Or Trick Bullets as well. Trick Bullets is a little bit more utility. And it gets me a throwing knife too. I think I'll take Mito because that's more upfront damage. Real nice for now. Kinkakuji, I still don't like it as much. That's uh, uh, lighter and I still don't like it as much as uh, Kinkakuji. Oh, and uh, my Twitter, uh, my, not my Twitter, my Twitch booted up all around on the background. So, oops, you heard that a little bit, but it's whatever. Thank you, Kadia. I basically just put the, took the pill for the Tengatu G amulet, which I'm never going to argue with. Because that's 18 damage now for 10 block for all in the future. Yeah, that's real darn good. Do I go ahead and get the fun sway out here? Because I'm not going to be able to block both unless I devote it, and this will just help me out more in the long run. Yeah, I don't have to play any defense now, for instance. I can just devote this entire turn to attacking. Nice enough. Plus, I get a little throwing knife as an extra. So, all things considered, sacrificing that health now for tempo in the coming turns 
is just way too good. I did that to reshuffle my deck real quick. I guess better just block it all together. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to punch through that 10 barrier, uh, 10 block. Boop, boop. And we are good. NC7 Elf ain't the worst. I've basically only taken 8 damage from fights and then. Uh, 8 damage from the fight and then, you know, 18 from the event. Rapid Landing could be good. It is a scry. Exile and cards could be good as well, of course, thinning my deck for whatever stuff I may not need. It's nice. I already have Trick Bullets, so I don't want to overload my hand too much with attack. So I think I'll take Channeling Magic to keep my deck thinner. Echo and making it free would be nice, but having Fun Sway be free, I uh, be innate, is way too good in my opinion. Now, let's instead of just instead of sending it like we usually do, there's really no incentive for me because I don't have a spell card. But if I fight elites, I possibly could. Cherno, I do not have the damage. I think if I Cherno, I really need to just punch through. I really need. Well, I can deal with if I Cherno. I can deal with a few different things here. I'm gonna be scrying with cards, so what would I really want out of a scry deck? Marissa for potions? Marissa for potions probably. I don't need like the firepower or the barrier for Raymu necessarily. The Roy that you'd be getting some from Fun Sway, so I think I'd go Marissa to possibly make a hybrid purple or uh, black. It's purple color or like, color wise, but it's black, or, like black mana, like magic. So I'll shoot for Marissa and try to get her artifact. As for if I want to fight an elite yet, I only have one attack card, so I'm not that confident right now with no spell cards, so I think I'll continue gapping probably. Probably it's either that, or I gap, heal, and then go for an elite. And I could brick my run pretty early without def uh, without offense, so I only have the one attack card. And it's not guaranteed with the uh, with that one right there. Reforce becomes neutral and deals 4 more versus 12 more damage with the knives and possibly adds on more stuff that I may not need. Do I actually sit down on the elite and just say screw it to my run? Consway is in hand. I'd struggle with. I'd struggle with Fairies of Light. I'd struggle with Aya. I wouldn't struggle with Orin too much. They don't have AoE, they don't have punch through for accuracy, so no, it's it's not time for an elite yet. We'll go for another just regular enemy for now, uh, another enemy route, and then, you know, I'll have to tackle an, uh, an elite anyway. Watch everything for me for now, and then of course, as always, we're killing the trickster, ASAP. Keep my damage in the hand, please. Not the best turn I could have asked for. I could have gotten my trick bullets, but there's nothing going on there. Trick bullets first. Set of distant blade. Channeling magic. Get rid of these two. Make more knives, and then you will attack the trickster. Perfect. Because blocking is useless just because of the spirit down, but at least I got the barrier from the Tintatogy, so I'm gonna be blocking up to only 8 damage taken. I'm blocking 10 damage, only taking 8. Useless because that's going to be a. What's this thing? That's going to be a accurate attack. That's very annoying. Yeah, the fact that it's just a little bit of mill as well. It just gets to cycle. Uh, not, not mill, uh, cycle. I'm not milling, I'm not discarding cards necessarily. I'm not discarding my opponent's cards, I'm just uh, cycling through my own. It's just so nice. Here in Banquet could be good. 
feel like I might want my actual offense though, so I will take Rapid Landing now. I could lose two to transform a Red Door Poker Shot into possibly something better. Might be good. If I choose to upgrade, what would I be looking to upgrade then? Rapid Landing becomes pretty good. Side of Distant Void can just become a 1 damage, draw a card and deal- uh, 1 mana. Draw a card deal 16, which can be real darn good. Question's okay. I don't- I don't think I worry about getting rid of the Poker Shots too much. I can just use Channeling Magic, so... I think I do upgrade a Sight- uh, uh, a Swipe Wind condition of Sight of Distant Blade. We do that. We upgrade Moon Landing afterwards to keep scrying more and more. And then I think we can start with that as our possible wind condition. So either that or do channeling magic, because at the very least that's gonna be 12 damage on by itself. 12 damage by itself, and then that just becomes 24 with the other knives. Unless I exile even more cards from my hand. Uh let's make that free actually. Make that free. And then now, I just need to find myself some defense. Need to find some defense cards, because I can't draw in Fon Sway only since that's basically me- It's basically me playing my defense cards for free with it. Just starting through, because I need to find some defense first, before I do anything else. Need to just go ahead and start hitting y'all. Now this is a fantastic situation because I can do something like this. That gets rid of one spirit, revenge bolt goes out, and then I'm taking no damage. Then those knives will just immediately hit this spirit next, and now I don't have to worry about you blowing up next turn. Just 10 damage from the sick girl, and we are all good to go. That's really yeah, go ahead, detonate, and then I block again. Because your defense bolt is not going to hit me, huh? Want to be able to find some defense. Actually, I, I drew the private vision, so we're all good. And yep, yep. One more turn, and you are done. Not a bad fight, only what? Four damage taken? But being at half health still does not make me ever happy. In the turn, then take extra turn. Be good. Wandering Heaven could be great, honestly. And I do need some defense. Because, like... Yeah. Private Square, of course, is nice. But I'm go I I'm not really going... I don't feel like I'm going to cycle enough to get to it. Use pom poms. One spirit's okay, but quest wine for at four. You know, as always, I don't mind uh, one relic for the rest. Now, I do think it could be a possible Takane shop angle because although Wandering Heaven is great to upgrade everything, I need more cards to actually work off of Scry, I feel. So I go shop me. Ooh. I could get a spell card from this. Could save my life over 22 health. I think I go for the spell card. And we respect Misty's Izakaya in this house, so I will pay. Glad was so. Do I feel guilty for not paying? Uh, I definitely would in many other circumstances now. Smile. But we are a respectable patron of Misty's Izakaya. It is a wonderful game and people should play it, so I will always pay whenever I'm given the chance to. Hit. Wait till you draw a card. Might as well do something like that. And then... One, two. Get rid of them. And I can channel magic again. Do this. Thank you. At least I broke through your defenses. I will say, I'm not getting debuffed right now to really get my amulet to work, unfortunately, but that's- it's not the end of the world now. It's just funny with how things are working out. 
Now, honestly, I thought I forgot that uh, with side of distant point upgraded, it would be dealing 12 damage instead. I actually could have just done 16 instead because of the what's his face, because of both my shoots being upgraded. I thought I was one mana off. You see, I thought I'd be doing better off stream, and here I am, not doing better off stream. Now, we didn't discard the defense, so I didn't know how bad I could possibly brick my draw, and I didn't want to give myself any big risk on that end. Yep, get rid of the residue, please, and side of distant blade. Thank you. Now I might be regretting not keeping the help. They didn't even get enough, dude. That sucks. Oh, Great Tengu's Decree could be real good for us here. And Takane, I need to see what you've got. Have I grazed gain? gain? Not really needed. If I draw a pile with Shuffle Dritter, and I said it to dodge from the discard pile to the hand. That is real nice, I feel. I think I buy 1 2, possibly. Try that, or I upgrade. Okay, I can upgrade. It's only gonna be a little, so I upgrade Wandering Heaven. And I think that's honestly an okay shop. We got Odin. Win, 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 win. Win, 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 gabe. Fun sway me. Upgrade me. Give me some barrier. I already play this out. It'll thin my debt a little bit, but it does get rid of one of my little defenses, and I can use it of the poker shots instead, possibly. So I've accidental dodge, which does keep me thin. These are upgraded. What's the problem? Do I play the canned food out? Possibly. My own personal health and safety? Drop point. Or do I play it out now? Because that's just 24 damage to Horden, which could be good. Yeah, we say screw it. Deal 24 now. They don't know how much damage I'd be able to do incoming turns, possibly. Small boundary is blocked. I think if I do something like this, one, two to guarantee the knife kill, discard, and there we go. That one dies, I can turn my graze, and then she's gonna snap on the other one. Oh, but King Kaku G is actually gonna save my uh, save my uh, to space, my health because of the debuff to the uh, with Rail. That's real nice. That's actually real nice. All right, one. I think I need to do, do great penguins now, so I can actually get that applied outwards. Uh, so I have just to one mana, so let's see what I get first. Do this. I can private vision, actually, and discard the knife this way. Funny enough. Oh! I get the graze afterwards? Oh my goodness, that's actually ridiculously annoying, dude. I thought I'd get it before. I just took a little bit of health for no reason. Ah, oh, that's a little annoying. Just a little, though. Just a little. Hit. Hmm. This card for a graze. I mean, I'm not gonna get too much off of this, but I actually I can do something instead, like so. I've got two graze, so I don't care if he snaps at me. And just actually hit Borden. Actually, he doesn't even get to because I'll his face. Because the reflection. That's not the worst thing ever. Hit. Hit. I mean, it lets me deal 
sits more damage, which honestly I think is more valuable right now than just a three barrier. Because like the main thing that I'm getting from that sentinel dodge is the graze out of it. Three barrier really isn't much. Sight. Hit. So close to killing her. Fortunately. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna be much. Do here. Like this card, I mean that's three raise versus three barrier that I can be getting out of this, so I'd rather just I'd, I'd rather just do that. Like, the reflection is not going to matter too much, so I'm just going to kill Order next turn. I'm just mitigating as much damage as I can from the Revenge Bullet. I forgot she doubles. Well, I know for a fact that I'm resting after this fight. Bye, Odin. The fact is, I preserved my spell card to use on Marissa, which is the big thing. Soy sauce bottle? Not bad for my power. Discarded our Edzao, gained 2 mana. Yeah, I'll gladly take that. And I will gladly heal at Yukari. Alright, so, game plan. Still, take Arissa's artifact. Hope that it's uh, hope that it's the purple one, or black one, rather. Actually, no, it doesn't matter, because you just did Marissa card, so I don't care. Much otherwise. And we just go on from there. Alright, the fact that I'm not getting any firepower with this deck is pretty nice, all things considered. I can upgrade everything, which is fantastic. And honestly, I can just save canned food for a rainy day, because I don't really have to burn it now. I can save it for Act 2, possibly. Uh, that's a defense card, so I will shuffle that in, rather, because it'll just immediately go back to me. Exactly so. Obviously, I should have discarded that, but it's whatever. Oh, I can discard that now, and I should have wandered in heaven first, but I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Marissa ain't hitting shit. <laughs> I could have drawn one more card, which could have been... Actually, no, that's just all defense. Oops. Smile. Oh, it's alright. Side of Distant Blade, that is fantastic to see. And Rapid Landing too, oh baby. Uh, Marissa's not even attacking this turn, so honestly I don't mind drawing the Refracted Sunlight to get those statuses out of my deck. Because yeah, the reshuffle now is really going to hurt me, I feel. And do something like this though, at the very least. And honestly, yeah, go ahead and channeling magic on the food, because I don't need it this fight. I can just go ahead and make a bunch of knives out of it. I get a little bit of reflection damage as well, and this is pretty darn good to have Great Tangling's Degree helping me out here. Alright, now I'm actually gonna need some defense. I did not draw any defense at all. Well, this is really the best that I've got. I also just gotta play these out. Now, actually, I could beat the world with thinking about it now. Might be the best option, just because I'm already gonna get 100 from beating Marissa anyway. And now, I can just get all the defenses in the world. Yeah, just a little bit more preserve what barrier that I have, because, you know, I don't need grace. It's accurate for Final Spark. And we are doing pretty decent, all things considered, I feel. It. Uh. If I just do two hits like this, I'm really gonna be at 17, meaning. Well. Yeah, I mean, it's reflection damage, and I'm only gonna have the one mana left over anyway, so it's not like she's really doing too much else. Better just, you know, continue to take no damage. So I'm in a pretty healthy farm, all things considered. Hit. I'm already gonna be grazing, so no need to do anything else besides just hit, hit, hit. Yeah, it's just like, of course, like, if, it, if a boss gets amulet, for instance, 
then you are immediately losing value in Great Tenu's Decree, of course, which does suck, but, you know, can't do too much about that now. That's slightly annoying to see that I'm just going to take two health, but it's the end of the act, and it's not like I have any request on. It's just Red Warrior Lunatic, which... No two points here, smile. One, two... That's basically my defense for the turn. Don't need to do too much else. Uh, I mean, rather save the rest of those cards there for next turn. And Marissa be dying. Smile. One, two. Uh, three. Smile. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad at all. Wow, I actually beat a boss without taking any damage. That's not bad. Barley Rice is real darn good, I will admit. Harvest Fruit Bastard so it's funny. <sighs> if I do get charged, that is interesting to think about. But I'm mainly just taking it to get my... Uh, to get purple cards, which is the contradiction. Now, granted, if I do get Barley Rice, it does mean I can really start... Uh, I can continue... Looking through the deck and seeing what else... Uh, I could really look through the deck and seeing what else I could possibly get when I'm... What's his face? Getting two turns so many times, but I think there's way too many Marissa cards that I can either retain or... I, I could retain or burst charges or just play to the win condition of potions, 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 like I said. Interesting. So you get the mana back with this, and you get a rare card of choice. It's much better than Perfect Servant, I feel, to where I'm not sure I'd like to do. And, oh, we love my Knives Recursions, for all the reasons. But I've never taken on Moving Great Library, so give me that. You want me to play around with that, then. Alright, in those days, trade is up. I do think it's probably just going to be a Event Angel. Uh, event Angel to Takane's, probably. And then I'll see... I'll probably save Takane for last then, unless I really do need to rest. Depending on whatever real estate wants to trade with me, because... Oh, I won't have too many... I won't have anything I do or want to give real estate, so that actually might be an early Takane shop angle. I'm also pretty darn healthy, so instead of having to force, I could just go to an elite, and then I'll see how it wants to go. But then if I have to fight... Uh, but then if I have to fight an elite again... I have to go to a- actually no, I have a easy path to a regular enemy, so Elite Angel, I need artifacts right now, I really need them. Now I will admit that my opening turns are a little Brit, considering I'm always going to be using the Fonsway manipulation at the beginning, so I'm not going to have a strong start. Bit of poker shot, I feel. Oh, I'm moving Greek library time. Let's see what I get. I, I got my mana refunded. Nine time pulse would be nice for residual damage. It does a little bit over time. Sculpture would actually block so much of this for me. It will block... I, it'll block all of it. Uh, it'll block almost everything. And then I can also graze a little bit too, so I think that actually is the choice here. Cat the Purifier. Thank you. I go to Exile 1 2, please. Exile these again. Trick Borezzo! For yet another throwing knife. And then you are dead, sir. Not a bad turn at all. Now, because I only have the one red mana, charge is definitely not a win condition, but hey, every now and then I get a little bit of what's his face. If I get every uh, if I get a little bit of uh a damage boost every now and then, that's really great. And also. Ooh. Rare one of five rare, one of five uncommon. You get to choose ten? Is that is that what it's telling me right there? a little stupid. I mean... <laughs> eh? 
Hit. Kind of a little stupid. If you get to pick between 10 cards, that seems amazing. And I kind of want to stall to find out. Because then that'll really decide if it's worth upgrading or not, I feel. Oh, it doesn't count for Stry if you do, though, it's face. It, it doesn't count for Strying if you get rid of it with, uh, when you're using uh, Bonsoir Manipulation. That sucks. Get rid of these, don't need. Interesting. Uh, that can kill you, so let's not do that. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna draw it all together. Unless I get lucky enough, smile. No, oh, I didn't. Alright, well, just destroy you, sir. Don't stall too much more if I'm going to take any damage. I'll find out if I get a choice of 10 cards then. Draw two, discard two. Gain. Uh, uh, gain on its face. He's real good. Coin agent applies cold when activated. Add two unstable potions to the draw pile. That seems real darn interesting. Hello? Marissa Chernodets can pop off. Holy crap. Also, if I can just get potions in general. The heck? That's real interesting. Alright, well, let's see, let's see what happens then. I get a choice of 10 cards. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, dude. What the heck? Okay. Add two vulnerable out of throwing out to the draw pile. Five temporary firepower? Nope. Discard any cards. Gain a charge. Uh, Ah, uh, I can deal with 30 damage to a Johnny Girl right now, but she has way too much health, so it's legitimately not worth it. Two points and splashes. Uh, two points with two splashes could be good, honestly, I feel. Yeah, dude, this is that is amazing of a card. You refund the mana, and you just get to choose whatever? That's kind of real darn stupid. Yeah, give me visionary tuning already. Let me add... Flashes as I need the blue mana. Yep. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use some of that blue mana like right now, Chief. Thank you. All right, we are good. Got the Jeep. That's me for now. Discard. Thank you. Wait a little bit, and let's see what else I possibly get from here. We're taking 14. I'm um, raising 2, actually, so I can go ahead and feel attack. Because even though it goes through the electric space, go, uh, even though Drowning is a debuff and does immediate damage, it will hit my what's his face first. It'll be hitting my block first, and then I'll be grazing the rest of those attacks. Great to do Decree. I do agree. You are accurate, so I can't dodge any of that, unfortunately. So instead... Going up to this black key defense. I mean, yeah, not that they really can do much here. Best thing I can do is just hit you with a little bit more block. Hurts slightly, but it's not the worst thing ever. Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself, to upgrade the splash as well. And then the best offense is a good defense turn. One damage ain't bad at all, thanks to Great Tangus. Hold on the ship's phantom in case I can discard it. And moving Great Library gets me. Jet the little bio could be good. Eating damage. That's interesting. I could also just get another turn right now. Yeah! Just get me an would generally get me another turn. But first and foremost, do this. Actually, don't need the extra turn. Because of the mana from Ship's Phantom, I'm actually fine. I don't even need to do anything. Smile? Haha! -ha, that's actually pretty funny! Draw three, discard three. That, honestly, should be good for me just to mill without having to deal damage. And it's only one mana, and it refunds, basically. Let's do it. 
Ichin Maru. Move something non basic. <laughs> I can upgrade the basic cards. I could transform three basic into common for the maximum life. If I get rid of the poker shots and the shoots, that could be good. But I need to keep my blots all together, honestly. Let's do that, in my opinion. One, two, three. Let's see what I got. Honey, my front, always interesting. Another trick bullets in time magic. Not the worst thing ever. Not the worst thing ever. Yomu time. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Unmoving first, I feel, probably. Yeah, just to see what I'd get. No cards cost one less this turn. I only have the one. I could get another Fan Shui. I could also just get more four of a kinds. Oh, let's have ourselves a little bit of fun now, shall we? Oh wait, no, it's at the start of combat. Oh, I misread the intentions completely. Oops. Oops. And I won't be able to do anything here. I can get a little bit of time pulse. But not much. I I think I uh, play my turn back. Hey, Yomu. Don't hit me for 18, please. I keep wandering heaven for the entire upgrade, I feel. Good. Trick bullets. Thank you. If I do this... I'm at 17, 18 over. You only gonna deal one damage to me. More damage now, more than anything. Ooh, channeling magic. Well, in that case, then, I think we do something a little like this. So granted, I could have used throwing uh, channeling magic instead to get rid of her status effects, but more damage now, and then I, I, I can thin, I can still thin my debt now, and also like and you know almost get it to half health, which I think is way too valuable right now. Discard for that. Thank you. I get two grace, and I don't even have to worry now. And let's see what I get. I could perfect servant legitimately for next turn. And I think I probably will. Spend on a block first, and then spend the rest on perfect servant. Good, 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 good. Because I want to retain that barrier if I can. And we are pretty well cruising right now. Upgrade everything. It's not going to deal damage, but the fact is I want the great tangers to free right there. Hit. Oh wait, I can do this too, funny enough. This potion's in. Oh, you shouldn't have. Hit. Hit. Oh, baby. The cold prots right afterwards, too. That's fantastic, don't you think? Hit. Honeywalk Grunt is free. Hit me again. Thank you. Unmoving one more time. Let's see what I get. That would be pretty funny. But this is also pretty funny. But I could also revive the saint. Give me an extra turn for free, baby. Nicole doesn't go away on extra turns either, which is actually hilarious. See? Draw three, discard three. Thank you. Get rid of these. And just actually almost one turn Yomu altogether. This is pretty nice of a deck, I feel. It's more potions and then maybe just get rid of like my other stuff. A, a little bit of my other stuff would be real good. I get 10 firepower now, which is interesting. A rainbow in the hand, just for free, is real good. There's also a wolf tengu shield. The extra firepower, I think, is good for me, especially since my a good offense, a good defense is a great offense. 
is basically what I'm looking to have. Soy sauce. It help it helps on a shop be more good of action than just resting for me. I don't think I trade either. But thank you, Renoste. Nice and now I do think I fight another elite. I have Matt's health and I still have a spell card. Then I can go to Chanes to heal anyway and get more power. So let's do that. Nazarin? Yeah, let's gamble. Artifact or exhibit. Computer parts. Uh, it's okay. Not the worst. I'd rather have sold Dr. Anoste. But for 50, I mean, I guess it's okay. Fun sway me. Great Tengu's me. I do think I need to have these trick boards start coming out. Because I need some defense. So although it's not going to block, block Butterfly's attack, that does block the piece down, which is decent considering how my health is lower thanks to Shinryo Maru. Uh... Go on, discard first. I want to see if, yes, I did Wandering Heaven, which is all that I needed here. Do this. Thank you. I'd like to unmove the Great Library and see what I could possibly get. Auto Exile. I don't need to block anything more. Get the Firepower for free, basically. Nine time pulse ain't bad either, considering I'm just gonna have to drive through this keystone. I think that might be good. 14 damage now? But time pulse is more residual. It's more residual and better, so let's do that. And I get the cooling agent with, and we are good. It'd be 14 up front versus 9 to both now, and then the 7 to both now. It's just compound interest much better afterwards. Great potion hit. Great potion hit. Man, am I lucky or what, baby? Good stuff there. Uh, I can't graze any of that, so I think I go I go ahead and spend what key. Fifteen life. I mean, that's exactly fifteen now. I might as well thin the deck a little bit, yeah. In the death for the future. One. See what I get out of Unmoving Great Library. I could get another Unmoving Great Library, funny enough. I mean, Strike Knife Express is just way too good right now just for the raw value you'd be getting out of it. Yoink. And you die. Dude. Unmoving Great Library is a card. Just between 10 cards is... What, what the heck? It's way too good. Weakness is great. And I have enough mana to spare for it always. And yeah, it is a straight upgrade to that card right there. No matter what. That way in case I don't get it with Wandering Heaven. Oh, it's always going to be giving my, my choice of 10. Unsway me. Travel prep, let's see what I get. This. Yikes. Do I want to spend my rainbow now? Nah, I don't mind breaking my turn. I should have paid attention to what mana what I, was, I was spending. Honeywell front is an attack. But I get unmoving, so let's... Let's... What did this... Five temporary firepower for three grays. Fifteen damage and probably cold to each enemy, which does go through uh optical camouflage, if I remember correctly. I also just did more potions. Fifteen now, but I have no way to blow off. Three grays, I think, would be the play then. Three grays me. And let's hit your little buddy here. I do think getting the Great Tengus on Natori would be good for the future, though. That way, in case I need to be hitting somebody, well, I can just hit Natori straight up. Yep, alright, now it's time. 
to really, I had to really start thinking about what to do. I think the Grease is way too valuable to pass up here, so first and foremost, weaken Natori. Get that there. You're gonna play it like this. Get me some time pulse, please. It's gonna hit the drone, not the Tori. Means I'm not gonna get the extra block from Great Tengu, so I'd be taking quite a decent amount of damage. Those potions would be real nice for me. I think I do spend here just to preserve my health. I only block uh, the drone's attacks, I only drop the Tori's attacks. Whereas, I can continue to preserve my barrier and then just see what else happens onwards, don't you think? I can do something like this. I will get two grazes. Smile. Now I'm blocking everything. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm even reflecting a little bit too. Back onto the drone. I think that's very much so worth it for my spell card. Let's see what I possibly get. Time for expression not needed. So I will just go ahead and whack Natori as much as I can right now. I think it is an unmoving turn if I do get it, as always. 18 if I expel. It would destroy Natori immediately, question mark. When the dropout is shuffled, return Quantum Pungling from district power to the hand. That is real interesting, honestly. That feels like it's be real good for me. For the future, just to get as a, car a card in the future. For now, though, I do think it's probably just an actually glorious treasure spear and just whack and Tori, don't you think? That'd be three mana. I'd be left over with three afterwards, so it might actually just be four of a kind instead for the immediate. Quantum also is just one, and then I'd get to... Nah, nah, nah. Just play things out all together. I need to see if Natori dies. Smile. He will die. Smile. Thanks to the magic of knives! Man, what a great card. He just didn't answer mid-combat. I mean, of course it's not guaranteed, but just, yeah, an answer mid-combat at all. It's amazing to just get as a resource. Oh, I'm not getting it this time, unfortunately. Smile. That's not always a problem. This scout is basically dead. You are dead. Finito. Done. Upgrade. Thank you. Boop. Just gotta play, you know, I just gotta play the turns out. The fact is, I'm still at full health, which is all that matters. See if I can get anything stupid here, yeah? Ooh, I can actually get some power, which is actually fantastic for me. Get me a little bit more power. I can just keep stalling like this if I wanted. Smile. But I'm not gonna be boring. I'm not that sweaty to keep stalling for more uh, for more of those. Upgraded attacks. It's alright, I guess. Indiscriminate ignition could be real good for just misfortunes for the future. I'm a little low on powers, and it's not gonna clog my deck once I play it, so... Honestly, let's do it. Get Toko. Keystone. Get Toko. Good offense is uh, uh, is the best defense? Question mark. And then Takane time. Takane time into the OE. So if I take any damage, I'll just heal that back up. Do I want Remy's Reverse Thunder? I can exile that just for the better cards. Base attack cards with Devil's Attack. I mean, 
Hold on. I just upgrade the small ones there, and then I just get rid of Reverse Thunder, right? Yeah. I literally just upgraded the one card, basically. Well. I mean... I have Reverse Thunder now, unfortunately, but it's whatever. Because I can just always just keep exiling that. Let's be honest here, Chief. An old little vice steel might go a long way. Who knows? Yeah, block up for now. I'd say a little bit of life steal. That's one life steal when I already got rid of all my other attacks. That's actually a horrible deal, can you imagine? I just put a unremovable card in my deck, but I'm just gonna it's just gonna be Edsal fodder fodder from now on. Are you an idiot, Cruzy? Yeah, you might you might be a little bit of an idiot. Let's be real here. Let's be real. I have so much neutral mana. You remember when you said you were gonna play it slow and smart? I didn't do the math. I'll be honest, Chief. Being slow and smart and doing math have nothing in common. It's better to hold on so I can actually graze. I'm moving because I need to spend before anything else happens. Imaginary could be real darn good for me. 14 block and... I just damage to everybody. That is way too good, I feel. Pass up. Then I still have the one mana for the accidental dodge and everything too. Which is great. And then I do one two to get rid of these two, I feel. One two. Thank you. Not bad at all. That's no damage taken. And this drone's almost done. This is such very annoying though, I am not going to lie. The fact that I couldn't destroy him, so I'm just gonna take so much more damage. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm going to the town is after. Can I just destroy you straight up? That's just all I'm working towards right now. Yeah, you are done, sir. So now we look at destroying the Kappa. Destroy the Kappa! Disgrace them! Forward smash them! Okay, well, I'm not, I can't really can't do too much here. I have the one mana, so you die. No damage taken. And now we just look at the Kappa. See what I get. Watch not lost at the start of the turn, then take an extra. Not really needed. Frozen laser could be good. Is affected by burst. That's four mana. I mean, I can just do it now and just hit the kappa. It's all that I really care about. That I get a graze. And the purifier. Oh, I need to remember about Wolf Tengu's shield. Purifier is hidden, but not for too much. Boop. Rainbow to the hand. Not gonna say no to that. Now I get Wolf Tengu's decree. A little bit more damage added to you, sir. No more amulet. No more hope, you are gone. Question mark. I need to have some attack cards, please. I mean, it's not attack cards, but it is defense, which I'm not going to argue with, I guess. I hate how I took so much damage, but hey, soy sauce is going to do good for me. I'm moving. Do I get anything? Anything good that I'd like? No? Alright. Spirit bomb them. I don't care. Ooh, peak. 
That's way good for me here. Now it's the Tana Angle. I'm also fighting Yuyuko. Whenever a status card is drawn, gain Boat. It'd be good. What is Ricochet? That's basically free. Phantom Tunneling is basically free. Green of Hell. Three damage for each card I play per turn. Hey, I'm playing a good amount, so let's try it. Let's blow to death with a few good powers and such and see how it goes. And Kokoro time. Last time I remember fighting Kokoro, I was like, yeah, I really don't fear her that much. And then I freaking died. So let's not do that, Chief. Green Hell. By weak. Do something like this. So I feel like taking 8, 16, 24 raw. Not really, so let's go ahead and burn. That is nice right there. Unmoving, let's see what I get. If I play Sure Gamble, I have enough to play basically everything, but I only have... Actually, no, I'll, I'll be blocking... I'll only be taking five otherwise, so I think that's good. Do that, because I'm trying to also buff up Rain, of, uh, Rain Hell as much as possible here. That's an cool dodge. Give me a little bit more life. Thank you. Not bad at all, Chief. Actually, uh, it hits... Every enemy, so I could have been attacking Gokuro straight up, but that's on me. Free block agent. Let's see what I get from here. Start great me. I need great Tenju three to go out here, please. Then I can do something like Haniwa here deal damage and also get my bot that I need. So I graze and then uh, I graze and I also uh, let's just face attack. He grazes, he attacks. Hmm. Upgrade ships phantom. Travel prep next. I do like one, two. Uh. It's just the one life. So I, I still would like that though. You can go to the again. Hit. 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 Get rid of all of these, quite frankly. And just keep whacking Kokoro in the face. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty good, all things put together, but Junko could really mess me up since I need to play a lot of cards at the same time. Today, you know, of course, anti-powers could really screw me up too. Remelia actually does straight up grip me with only 6 cards per turn. So I don't have a real favorable matchup against any uh, at three boss. I mean, the best I could probably hope for is Junko then, who will, uh, what's his face, who will purify, but she can't purify Philosopher's Mana. And then I just gotta be careful about what I play. So that's really it. Okay, that actually helps out my beginning turns pretty well. Don't need too big to fail. Kenshans could be good for the future. Possibly. This is a defense card, which I think I will honestly take. So you go. I could get an extra turn if I do this. So yeah, let's heal to full. Because she will be spawning her butterflies, and I'm only two power off. Alright, let's do this thing. And Shan. Reflect me. 
I wonder if you remember where to lies where it's to uh, this. Because I remember learning all of her fan, uh, her English fan dub where it's to Toho Sans. And oh my goodness, I love them so much. Alright, what do I possibly want here? Static charge should be good. That's just a whole lot of block for this turn. I can also do frozen laser. Just for the straight up damage now. If I do the potions. I mean that's a little bit for later then. I'm not blocking much here, but it's uh, but it's it's the boss. I don't mind too much. So let's go ahead frozen laser then. But first and foremost, try me. I'd like to travel prep, probably. They probably know I am gonna travel prep. What I'd like to do is... I need to discard out of these here. One, two, three, question mark? I want to get C uh, secret to save value. No, one, two, three. No, one, two, three, do that. I don't need to edge out anything necessarily now. Alright, apply cold. Uh, see you're safe first. Prison laser. That's going to cold everybody. Then I do this for my, uh, what's his face? My graze. Pretty good turn, all things considered. I blocked Yuto's entire attack, I grazed Death Butterfly's attack, and since I killed the butterfly, I now have a cast of the world. Guys, as hell I, I need to stay as healthy as I can so I don't have to ever deal with Yuko putting me over and over again. Uh, not Yuko putting me on the biggest timer of all time. Er. Ooh, good kill. I don't care about flying great changes to free this turn just because Yuko's not attacking. He's debuffing me, and I'm really gonna get the barrier from uh, Tintatu G. Good. Great. Rain Hell. And we are pretty good now. All things considered for our passive state. Since it's only you, Yuko, now, we can just constantly, constantly, constantly just keep hitting hitting her over and over again. With, uh, uh, with Reckless Abandon in the world. That card is that to get a barrier. Helps me against her immediate attacks. You also just purchase materials straight up. And just keep cycling this turn, which I honestly think I'll probably do. Because he's about to activate a spell card. I could get blocked now, but I'm lazy. Get me the materials. Upgrade everything here, please. Quantum tunneling. I didn't discard anything, but I will still see Ricochet because it's my only other attack card here. Don't need to graze. Throwing knife me. And then that activates as much damage as I can from Rain Hell. Oh no, she's summoning. Kind of gripped on this turn, not going to lie. It's alright. As many cards as I'm playing out, Rain and Hell is doing real good work for me to help me with these Death Butterflies. Now the timer is going to get a little tighter, like a noose around my net, but I'm still healthy enough to where it's not the worst thing ever. Now you may be wondering, why am I hitting you, Yuko, only when I could just be hitting, like, the small guys? Well, it's because I'm trusting do enough damage, uh, and play enough cards for Rain Hell to activate. Plus, I also have Time Magic is my other thought process right there. I don't need Channeling Magic yet. I need to find more ways to draw and retain cards is the main problem that I'm seeing here now. 
Ooh, I activated burst. Oh crap, dude. I wasn't even counting. Shoot. Go, 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 go. Because they're dead. So we just need to uh, go. Yeah. Hit, 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 hit. Thank you for the philosophers. Thank you for the grace. I could have honey watched for 36 damage there, but I was scared. But I retain my barrier now. Because Graze and then uh, Graze will take one of Yeager's shots and then my block will take care of the rest. Dude, I completely forgot that I had my charge coming in. Oops. One, two, three. Not needed right now. Unmoving Great Library me. Let's see what I get. Ooh, well, I think that is quite literally the choice here, everybody. Hello, Sharp Knife Express. Great to see you. I should have probably played things out, but you know, I'm kind of a little stupid sometimes. Oh well. Hit. And play it out, because I might as well. Oh, baby. Not bad. And then I'm gonna get Camellia and I'm gonna hate everything in life. At the start of the boy's first turn in each combat, gain Philosophers. Start a second turn, gain three lives. Start a third, gain three temp. You also get green. You also get two blocks for each upgraded card in the hand. That's way too good, honestly. That is legitimately way too good considering how I have uh, Wandering Heaven. Who's our charge? Don't care. End the turn and get an extra for free. Pretty good. Boost of Sage is ethereal. It is 5 mana though. I think just the extra turn is always going to be good. It's Remy. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright. Got, got a thin a little bit then. I think I got to thin and find what my good win conditions are. It's either that or just, you know, got to be careful with what I play. Which of course is easier said than done. I have 7 mana. I need to play the Love Waters out to the girl, so I'll only be able to play one of my abilities from Great Tengu or Rain Hell. One. Two. Karasa is actually doing great work for me. So I don't mind. I don't want to use my world immediately here. I want Peak Perfection out because I need to see what else I can possibly get. Double shot. Quantum Tunneling is free. And that is pretty alright. I should have watched first. So we keep thinking about Wolf Tengu Shield. Ah, it's just a simple mechanic and I just don't do it. Ever. Alright, Rainbow Me. Distant Void. Unmoving first. If I do that, I can copy the Love Water, but then I wouldn't be blocking anything. But I could also channel in magic for Great Tengu's Decree. No, that is the play. That is 1000% the play then. But then, no, it costs mana to play, and I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Do something like channeling magic and just have fun. Something a little like this, maybe? Fudge. Ah, darn it, man. Because you can't do a copy of a copy. I should have done it first. Oh, you're an idiot! You're such an idiot! That loss in paradise is wasted. Might as well just kill the 16 damage of Connie Wolf Run, shall we? At least it's a free throwing knife. Oh, you're so stupid, Cruzy. At first, you're like, yeah, you can give six love waters to the love sit girl. And then you'd be able to not only defeat her instantly, but get the achievement. Well, you already did get the achievement, you idiot. Okay. I think I will really just do that and then time walk. 
straight up. There's all these loves to throw, and then I can get the other love waters. Great. Fantastic. Amazing. No more love sickness, and now I just need to whack her. Boop. 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 I don't have red. Gonna avoid that first, probably. But ah well. Fact is, I have a real good damaging win condition for us. One, two, three. Unmoving, please. Yeah, sharp knife me. Hit. Sight. If I do this, I get my temp firepower. Do that. And whack! Now you are basically dead next turn before you can cause my death. That's all that I wanted, baby. Yes! Is that who's interesting? So that's why it's interesting. I don't need Deja Vu because I'm not really drawing anything else besides, uh, uh, besides side of Distant Void that I necessarily need. This girl fight's good just because it's a bunch of mana and with me drawing powers, I just need to play them out. Protein Juice at Apex Speedster, always remember that, but I got Karasa, so I'm actually pretty good. Everything's upgraded too. That is hilarious. Oh, this is accurate, so whoever I hit, that's who I'm tunneling then. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. See, she's also accurate, too. I could have hit the other purple calf. Oh, well. Private vision me first. Thank you. I'll just raise the epic speedster hit. Now, I look at 18 block, probably. 18 block me? Because that would be 4 mana. Then I get to play Tianshan otherwise, or I could also just do Sculpture Circle then. Just for the bigger block is what I'm looking for out of that. Not the damage. I just need to stall for that grace to go away. Do I have any trash in my deck? No, I do not. So in that case then, what I need to do is I need to strike first. This travel prep me, see what I get. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> wow, because he can count at a first grade level. Ah, so that's that she's parking my death now. That is actually annoying, dude. Well, green hell. Do I want to take the 11 now? Not really. I really don't want to take anything at all. So I think I will just play the extra turn and just say screw you, stupid Tengu. Good. Great. 
get the barrier in case Apex speeds or triggers, but I should know it doesn't trigger on extra turn, but you know, I'm scared for my life. Good. Time walk me. I can just say screw you again. I'm going to hit you again. See if I can heal anything for here, for instance. Uh, it didn't happen, but I can do something like revive the saint. If I do that much... Yeah, you're dead cold anyway, so let's see what I get. Oh, I can just do this instead and have fun. Die! Pro Tengu. Yeah, more potions. I mean, it's just two potions and I haven't gotten any other potion cards, really. That's just the best I can hope for. This could be a problem because they don't have that much AoE unless they play Rain Hell. Rain Hell. Travel prep me. One, two, three probably. They need to play Black Key without a doubt. That. Kind of stupid because I realized I didn't have any cards now, but the fact is Rain Hell does all the work for me. I do have AoE. It's Rain of Hell. I need four mana. I do times pressing. That's the blue that I need out of that, so I can't do it. So I gotta start to do time what now. But the knife do its work. Need to deal up to 13 damage then. Alright. Plus your fight is free, of course. Not to every enemy. Ah, there we go. We're at the dream. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Ooh, look at that power ticking up, baby. I am very, very happy about that. The game was interesting. I do think t is good because I need actual card draw that isn't just cycle. That isn't just pure cycle. Oh, I drew three. Oh, I discard three. Good. Let's go and play this out because I want to see what I possibly get. Not much, I'll be honest with you, Chief. Well, we just play everything out then. Fact that I got fun sway, which is pretty nice, all things considered. And I got a few potions in the deck as well. That's two black butterflies, which doesn't fill me with the greatest happiness ever. That is a potion though. One. Two. Three. I can time watch as I kind of drift on the tats. Let's see what else I get. That's a lot of card draw. A world waddle take. Yeah, just draw me a bunch real quick, first and foremost. Quantum tunneling, what that cycle. Wandering heavens, so I can upgrade the rainbow. Now let's see what else I draw here. More potions. One, two, three. Now, great library me into Cover Room, I think, is just good just for the raw damage, probably. Uh, I do have the temporary firepower, so that's great. Go so hit. I should have hit Quantum Beast first, thinking about it. Um, I don't want to fight. Like, Point Rain Hell is a little late now, it feels like, but eh, whatever. See if I get it, if I get lucky or not. I do not get lucky. That is a little bit of time pulse, which I could possibly use in that the other case then. Uh, get a. One, two. 
on a cycle these around. Yeah, hit that fairy. Thank you. I like to apply weak to the piece. Do piece. And then just defend me. Maybe you can turn all things considered. I got rid of only the regular fairy though, but I have so much block that they're not getting used this turn. And I also even have my charge almost coming up too. Okay, Rain Hell. Quantum Tunneling. Thank you. I got to graze for the first attack. Do this. See what I get. A rainbow is fantastic. Play this out. What can I try? Travel prep. That's actually fantastic to see. And I got my burst as well. Oh, baby. One, two, three. Get rid of those, please. Now I'd like to deal 30, 36. I can deal another 36 thanks to Haniwa. And you are dead thanks to Double Shot. Oh, baby. Not bad at all. Who would have known that the Double Shot, which ripped a curse into my deck for no good reason, would have been real good. I don't need a Buki Gord, I'll be honest with the Chief. Do I necessarily need that? It is a source of damage. And it is a source of discard. I mean, I guess it could because I'm not going against the SNA. No reason for me not to. It'll help me against the Sage of Fight for a little bit of block as well. Sumereko, I could pay Fon Shui for Lost Raymonds. Eh. Fon's Fuel is real darn interesting. Because. My burst turns could be real good. I think I will pay for that. Thank you for the eye cream. And do I go Takane angle? Let's, let's keep it open-ended. I'll see if I do want to fight an elite if I do gap again. I mean, I do have a uh, space computer parts, so I can take an extra turn if I really need. You know... I see these guys, and I might honestly want that extra turn. Rainbow me, please. Twenty-eight. I'll be walking part of it. Do I trust the rest of my deck? I think I'll trust the rest now but I probably do want to burn my turn this I burn my turn now because my Kakatuji is going to prop thanks to the purifier order. That's what I was hoping for exactly so that is a good amount of purify but it's whatever. I can just do something like this. Discard these and activate ricochet. Slow down for a second here. Get those potions in my deck. Keep save your funds itself. And then I will time walk. Thank you very much. No need for time suppression, you all have amulets. Or do something like this. for flawless 20 now and destroy you you can also just 18 18 that's gonna be 30 but then i also have the knives i'll get so i might as well get the money get the money get the money thank you not gonna play these powers out probably, so just go ahead, toss them out for the immediate channeling magic. Value? And maybe I'll just preserve my world in that case then. It. It. Ooh, the cold's actually gonna, are gonna get rid of uh, their amulets. Not bad, not bad. But anyway, uh, hit. Didn't hit what I wanted. 
I get quantum tunneling anyway, so that's totally fine. Now you will hit what I want, right? No, you did not. Oh, that sucks, but it's whatever. Thank you now, finally, sir. I mean, I could wait around for the one health that I get from a moving great library. Let's be lazy. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe damage coming my way. And I want it my way. It might not actually get what I need here. I'll be real, Chief. I'll be real. I can get flawless for a turn if I really want. On Sakia cards. Uh, just, just destroy him. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Destroy him! Disgrace him! Forward smash him! Yeah, I got the eye cream because of that. Uh, charge is good, and just that's just more block in general. Private score is also just extra, another extra turn, which would be real good against Grammy. I think that's just great. Joy. Do I want 800? I can't, I do have a lot of discards, and this shop could actually break things wide open for me. Screw it. It's double Takane Angel. Whenever Saki has tried, try two additional. That's kind of feel darn busted. Gimme. Remove me. Fire power is nice. One, two, three. I think. Or do I save for Takane Shop number two? Let us save for Takane Shop number two. Uh, we buy in case. I mean, I'm just finding a regular enemy instead of an OE, but you never know. One. Two. A weaken you. Weaken Shan. And this spot here tries to meet a problem. Go ahead and world me, because I don't want to deal with that charm first and foremost. Even though I am blocking all this damage, I, I'm not going to be blocking all this damage anymore. Fact is, I'm not going to deal with a bunch of this crap. Let's be real here, Chief. Point agent me into draw me. Amazing. Amazing. Unmoving. Thank you. I do have temporary firepower. This is pretty darn good. Because I get blocked for that temp firepower. Dreadful raging waves. Ricochet me. I have eight rays. Yeah, I'll be blocking everything. All right, hit. That is amazing. Your Toko uh, gets me a little bit more block as well. Now I did take five from reverse hundred, but the fact is that's all that I've taken, and then the charm is gonna be gone coming up, unless I also get drugged as well, which would be funny. Uh, I can still draw the drunk, which does not make me happy. So I'd like to do one, two, oh I should have done it the other way so I wouldn't take any damage because I'm one damage off. I wouldn't, I, uh, I, I thought they were both at the same health, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Well, that's a little bit more damage than I meant to. Date, but it's whatever. Hmm. Don't necessarily need. Oh, 
I could date. I mean, it's free. Winner fan? Moria? No, Winner fan is way better than Moria. Then, yeah. Akane me again because of uh, soy sauce bottle. Oh. Oh, shoot. Dude. Oh, no. These crap heads. And okay. Barrier for now. Fun sway me. I need to get cards. Though. Like right now. Good. Good, good. Yeah, reverse hunger's gonna hit me for five. That's the least of my concerns. I need to retain my full lot as much as I can for these two. Ocean coming in is real darn good, just because I, 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 it's extra mana for me, as always. It. Rain Howl is real nice, but I'm not gonna be able to play it and uh, and uh, hit uh, and do my time walk, unfortunately. So that's four mana. I can play these out, so in that case, then discard all of these for the charge. hit. Take my extra turn, please. I should have hit with the red mana for the charge, but it's whatever. Fact is, the extra turn lets indiscriminate ignition go off. Don't care about the drunk. those. Get my rainbow, please. I don't like my rays. Hit. I'll be grazing one. I'll be blocking two, and then... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. And then chain oin magic. Or the, uh, the, the chain oin magic, rather. Is gonna deal a hefty amount of damage to you. Wanna kill them both at the same time though, because the Lazy Moon Rabbit is the one that scares me. If, you know, if you kill them out of order. Weakness is a virtue. Trying 5 over is pretty nice to see here. I can. Do Celestial Fight. Get tea brewing. Thank you very much. I did my potion as well, which is fantastic. And moving, let's see what I get. I think charge conversion is actually gonna be way goaded for me here. do this because charge really ain't my win condition here and really just play out my entire darn hand good, 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 good. these moon rabbits are so darn scary if you do not have a way to like if you do not have a good mixture of offense and defense but thank goodness that I freaking do I can deal with y'all can also discard these crap heads. It. It. Can do this. Into potion. And we are all good to go. See ya, suckers. Not the worst fight ever. I think I just only took the damage from the reverse hunger.
interesting. It's barrier. I will probably take that just because. Ooh. Then I can just get to the, uh, my other drunk. Thank you, Narumi. Yeah, it's one wife. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it's way good to get that out of my deck. Ooh. It could be good. Looks good. One, two. Let's do that. I do cloak. Then I can buy another Starry Sword Dance, probably. Is my thoughts? Do I need Frozen Time? Maybe against. Uh, maybe against Vermilia, but would I need against Seija? Possibly. I would be floating a few things. Let's do it. It, it presents the win condition for me. Uh, the possible win condition for me. Alright, door me. That's I'm not going to burst right through a shield first turn. That's a one dream layer, which, let's be honest here, I haven't gotten, uh, I haven't really had her, uh, like, ever scaled dream layers that much before, unlike my online playthrough, so I'm kind of a little scared. But, never mind, that's what I say, if I draw both potions, then that's kind of it. Well, that is great for me. Can you feed her, please? Ooh. Stupid fun. It. And perfect servant for a virtually free next turn, baby. Oh, baby! Everything is free! Free? Yeah, four mana private square. I'm not gonna say no to that. Holy crap. What do we play everything out? If only I could get uh, my Reign of Hell right now. It would be fantastic, but I don't think I am going to get it in the cycle, what it looks like here. Boop. Just keep playing everything out, ladies and gentlemen. Keep playing every single darn thing out. Oh man, if I had Reign of Hell, this would be a fantastic turn. Instead, I'll just private square and just take another free turn. You may have gotten one single Dream Warrior door me, but I don't care. I don't care. Rain how? Time stop detective again. Ocean me, because I don't care. Weaken you. And this is a pretty darn stupid elite fight, if I do say so myself. I am not complaining at all. This is a wonderful, wonderful fight. Oh, the potions are going. Potions are hitting, and you are dying, smile. I actually uber drew. That's hilarious to think about. Get my temp firepower. Hit. And you are dead. No big surprise. Wow! Is this stupid? Stupidly good, I mean. And you fan for a little bit of grace at the beginning of the Vermilia fight, and Sage too. Not the bad at all. Travel prep could be good. More block. Might as well. And I could upgrade something, or I could guarantee that I have two worlds. I think it's more important to make sure that I have two worlds. Legitimately. I mean, she does fall in bats, right? 
In that case, it might have been a mistake. It's whatever. One. Two. I don't have my oil. Oh. It's whatever. This is just a neutral turn, all things considered. I also thought it was six cards I play, not five. That's annoying as crap. Unmoving me, please. Interesting. That's one I think might be good just because I need to just claw through her. I, I, I claw through her as, uh, as soon as possible. I hit like this, and then I take an extra turn now. Channeling magic sucks in this fight here, honestly. Green Hell was great though. Do that. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Now I just need to get my Great Tengu's Decree, and we are breaking pretty even against Remy here. Now I don't want to use my other... What's his face? If I can. I don't necessarily want to use my other The World of Fight, if I can. If I can help it. Say that it's Sage of Fight when I really would need it. I do that. I take my extra turn. I am one mana off from my charge. I want to spend a blue, uh, a, uh, what's his face, a, uh, red. Perfect. Hit. I should have a quiet lock on. Just whatever. Hit for the knife. Okay, two more cards. Status Reviri is a definite. Quantum Tunneling, Status Reviri. Great turn, creepy. Great turn. And then the mana gets deployed too, because of what's his face? Because of a frozen time. Yeah, Remy didn't get to do as much. Okay, never mind. I forgot to go to flawless mode. Oops. Weakness. Draw me a card, please. And Sean. Oh, unmoving's not gonna get me anything here, unfortunately, because I can only play one more card. So instead, I'll just play indiscriminate to get the power out. Like, we are okay. The fact is, I am generating so much block that uh, I have nothing to gain damage. She can't stop any. Now, granted, she did cleanse herself, so I don't have great tenders to free anymore, unfortunately. Something like this. One, two, three. That's not bad at all, all things considered. Yeah, I took the five damage from reverse hundred. That's all the damage I've taken this fight. I don't need those. I almost have enough reverse. So one, two, three. Four, honestly. Get me into burst. 
And let me just pop off now. Do. Three. Kill Ramiro with her own double shot. Would that be an achievement? Question mark. I'd laugh it if it was. No, it's not. But, you know, that is a Remy kill. Three firepower to number of attack cards played last combat. Interesting. You know, random mana gain three exhibits and out of itch in order? No. Out of strategies? Could help my beginning turn, honestly. Number of attack cards played last combat. I feel like that could be wild against Seija with how many cards I am playing out. Is that worth it, though? Because a good amount of my damage is also just from knives. I don't know if they count as played. Consistency? Question mark? Because I'm looking to just hopefully she doesn't get up. And then that lets me scour around, especially with my world turns, to really just get my game plan going. So I have damage. I just need to get it started. So I think astrology is it. Broken timeline as a possible helping point in case I need it. What I looking for? What would I be looking for if I exiled something? I mean, my time watts wouldn't do anything for me. Instead, I probably looked for you out just like Angel's Raymond, honestly. Firepower could be good too. I think because it retains, I'd like the Raymond. I'm not buying Luminous Ricochet. I don't really need AoE. Make Prism Time free and also make it be 5 mana. Alright, Seija. What'd you got for me? Is it cup time and you're gonna make me hate my wife? It's not cup time. And then admits evil spirits. This could be great. This is going to be great. Holy crap, hold on. Upgrade those astrologies and let me cook. Hold up. Get me my extra turn now, and I'm going to try to get every single passive as I can going. That's great that I got Rain of Hell early. Great. Let's see here. I would like to use Lightning Laser here. Let's see here. Don't need to see your to shame now. Point Agent is a must. Lightning Laser. And then Time Watch. Great, 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 great. Don't let Seija take any turns to start. I will get her down to as weak as possible. I, I will deal that 300 damage now. Gladly so. Draw me three. Let's see what I get. out. Draw me again. Quantum me. Hit. I think I've broken timeline. Broken timeline now. Let's see what I can get. Yeah, the reverse thunder kind of hurts, but it's it's alright. It's alright.
I'm working for my moving into it's just undying to be great jet the widow bio kind of does help perfect servant is amazing if i want to keep this turn going the royal servant i already used most of my extra turns though i think princess undying is good just for the extra barrier now especially with how big this hand is play that out now for the cooling agent i feel And I think that's a pretty decent turn one. That's gonna be eight times four, 32 damage. I'm gonna be blocking all of that with my barrier, unless I don't. I could Great Tangerine's Decree and then just have these unstable potions go, but she's already taken 117 damage, and it's just gonna be playing the Mid's Evil Spirit, so I'm fine with that, honestly. I am fine with that. Two crows, but the fact is I am going to be drawing all my potions, so I legitimately could not care. Honestly, getting pendant with like a like, like with some deaths is actually so darn good. You just say I don't care, straight up. Hit me, play these out, get me that blocking barrier, please, and let's keep this going. Barrier and graze me. Want some tunneling. I'd like to discard that reverse thunder, please. One, two, three. Get that stuff out of here. Rainbow in the hand, please. Go quite out. 17 times 2, 32. I'm already grazing. No, she's after it, but. I can save the rainbow for a rainy day. Yeah, send it. Not a bad turn. That's another almost 200 damage over. And she's still only on her first, uh, first go round. Unmoving me. I can get another Princess Undyne, but do I really need it? Not necessarily. I can do Dreadful Raging Waves. That's going to be 21 damage otherwise, but I could also get a bunch of... No, I already have Reformed Shrew on my hand, so Firepower just might be better. If I make a copy of Stardust Revere, that could actually be a one-turn new for me. Yeah, that's actually amazing to think about. Hit. I'm trying for six. Exile one, two queens. Get those out. Now I draw three more. No, I do not, unfortunately, because I'm already full up on everything here. In that case, then. Boy, the lightning noise to get me a little bit more barrier, please. I'd like this changing, uh, changing magic to go out and hit these knives. Followed by discard the knives question mark for more charge. Yeah, discard the knives for charge. And then I get to deal my actual Giga Blast and deal with the 300 in one turn to Seija. He's going to reverse offensive, but it's uh, Cup doesn't trigger until the turn after she reverse offenses his, so even if she does get it, I am perusing straight on. Okay, well that is actually a slight problem to get puzzle. Only slight though, I do have extra turns stored with. Yeah, private swear me. I'm not getting too much else done this turn. Knives are gonna hit the fairy, which ain't the best thing ever. But the extra turns don't count, because they're extra turns. Oh, this is fantastic, unironically.
That's actually fantastic thinking about it. So I could just actually keep extra turning and then we are honestly pretty darn good. I don't have any crap in my deck, so don't have to fear too much otherwise. I could legitimately do this, but then I'd be up to I'd be up to five charges, but I'm not really doing too much else otherwise with my stuff. That's totally fine. Five and ten wing kills. I can take the hit from Sage because he's just attacking. He's not getting another reverse offensive lined up. Team shot, no worries there, honestly. Hit, because yeah, the fact that I just am generating so much block from the artifacts that says, uh, just face secret quote. Where was it? Such as here, Toko, helping me out. Where was, yeah, Lunar Fan, helping me in that regard as well. And where was it? Oh, I just have just so much stuff. Yeah, the fact we didn't get cup means I have Robot Models, Firepower, I have Ribbon, I have Ribbon's Energy, I have... What's his face? I have Old Style Miko Costume actually getting me so much blood at the beginning, so I'm never going through my barrier too. Just a really darn good fight so far. All things considered. So my deck is kind of muddled through with throwing knives, but that's right, I can do much about that now, can I? Now what I can do is spend some red, like this, to get my burst up, then do yet another Stardust Revere, because I am tapped out on how much mana I can play, on how many cards I can draw, but Seija is tapped out on her life! Because blue Sophia scaling? At the very least, I still have another extra turn in case she did play Chuff, which I am very happy she didn't get. Oh, thank goodness. It took me to be off stream, but I won Lunatid with Blue Satya. Even if I did make some mistakes, so I taking Gamelia's deal when I had only one normal strike left. That's not bad at all, everybody. That is not a bad fight at all. And not a bad fight at the end, not a bad run altogether. I am very, very happy with that. So not only did I just get a few achievements for like, you know, ever since the achievement system got in, like, uh, beating Remy. I'd beaten her before, but not before the achievements, so it just didn't count, I suppose. And if Lost Branch wants to load anytime soon now. I was going to show off the run statistics! Thank you! What a great run, all things considered. So what really brought things together, I feel? Well, funny enough, I didn't even have to use the Angel Raymond, so I was never in any fear of dying. I do think that uh, uh, that when it came to me being able to retain as much health as I could, thanks to just my defensive uh, exhibit. So, Kinkaku G, of course, early was great. Yotoko helped out in some of the later fights just to retain my barrier. But it really came, through, really came down to a Karasa. Helping me not rip my turns just because I had Fonswai Manipulation as my opening card, as my opening rare. Old school Mika really helped me in the uh, Seija fight to not go through my barrier ever. Lunar Fan, you know, kind of, you know, really ended off the run with like, okay, well, this is, they're never getting through me. I'm just getting to always hold on to A, the world, thanks to like computer parts and soy sauce bottle. Really, really nice stuff. Of course, not going, uh, cup. Goblet, whatever you want to call it, on Sage of Fight kind of really goes hard, considering, you know, yeah, Robot Model, Crystal Mirror, Ribbon, Secret Cloak, they, like, they were all very instrumental to me winning, and like, having the momentum to win. But granted, I'm playing Blue Satya, I had four ways to continue having my turn in case it happened, but the fact is, we never know what would have happened in the, what would have happened in the universe if it did happen. You only know what happened here, which is, I won, smile. Faith in the Reverse Tundra was kind of, once again, really darn stupid because I only had the one regular attack after I already used Sumereko's Miracle Mallet to change everything around. I had to change my other stuff. Honeywolf Run actually came in pretty darn nice there. Uh, uh, pretty darn nice, all things considered. Time Magic was okay. I mean, it was just, I say okay. 
I really didn't get to use t uh, time magic at all. It really was just only fodder for my uh, changeoid magic. Great change the tree helped me out a good bit in those fights as well, I feel. I feel once I got that and Wandering Heaven, it really started coming together. But Unmoving Great Library really carried the run way early. Way early. It helped me find what I needed for those early fights. And then as we just got on, we just got so powerful that I just found more alternate win conditions. So yeah, I found Celestial Flight, so I'm never breaking on energy. I found Private Square. So I'm always going to be uh, so I'm always going to be getting more turns. I found time watch, so I'm always getting more turns. Frozen time means I'm never gonna brick on energy again. And then I just yeah, I never got these as supply bat batches I never needed to. I never needed Angel's Raymond. I had broken timeline as well. So many free turns. Thanks to the spewing power that is Blue Sakia. And I just kind of ran away with it. Yeah, Stardust Revere then became my win condition because I did get Mini Hitero, which funny enough. The fact that I got two cooling agents and I never actually got any other Black Marissa cards is pretty hilarious to do a stride build like I initially thought I'd do with Fon Shui Manipulation. But the run just turned out just to be a quintessential reset, 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 it's my turn to play. Is this, yeah, more stride discard with Ships Phantom and, uh, uh with Ships Phantom, which is interesting with Travel Progression and Peak, pro peak Progression? The peak perfection. Also that and getting rid of reverse thunder out of my hand. That just all kind of came together, all things considered. I'm very happy with that run.